everyone. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. With that, it's time to crown the champion of the NFC and to call the action. We send it to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, we appreciate it, Larry. It's our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, it's a battle to represent the NFC in this year's Super Bowl. And we've got a classic in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Oklahoma City Lancers. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Trubisky now to throw on third down. And he's got an open man, it's Gronkowski. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and worrying all offseason about our season open opponent. And they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. Ended up having a pretty decent ball game. If I had missed him, it could have been a, been a story. long night. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. It'll be a gain of five there as they move closer. It's second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert? and fire out and create some space in the run game. Hey, hey, tight end right. Watch tight end. Over, 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 over. Hey, hey, hey. Over, over, over. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in from a yard out. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Well, I guess the opening drive touchdown wasn't enough. They wanted two instead of one on top of that. Well, this team is obviously going for the crusher. All right, they don't want to mess around with just kicking the standard extra point and kind of letting you off the hook for giving up a touchdown. Now they want to really rub your face in it and say, guess what? We're going to be doing this all game long. to throw on first they'll set up the screen now to Camara, and they're able to get this one across the 35 it's a gain of 11 yards that time and it produces a new set of downs i like the screen being called here early in the game especially on the opening drive because brandon 
When guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to quarterback. You can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. 64 yards. And the Saints move back within a couple of the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And his pass incomplete. I know it's still just the first half, but we'll see if that two points looms large later. I would have kicked it, and I know that they were trying to equal the score, but sometimes you kind of get seduced into that. It's the first half. Kick the extra point and continue to play so you don't have to chase points later. Returning it, John Ross. <laughs> Muscling free near the 40. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. They give them a gain of 37. First down carry for Henry. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up second and nine. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. All right, here we go. Boom, now Trubisky to throw on second. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's brought down. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit, and that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. Forced out to his left. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. He'll get 8 on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Second down, here's Henry. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. They go play action here on first down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. On second down, here's Trubisky. And it's caught. Touchdown. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Over, over, over. 
They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Tremendous blocking by Terry of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. And if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to rumble. And this one is incomplete. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Second and 10, Hill again. Buying time to his left. And some room to work. Room to run past midfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but able to take it inside the 40-yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Partner, it's often the man coverage is easier for a quarterback to run against. You get your receivers going downfield. Those guys are staying with them, and oftentimes they have their back to the quarterback, which opens up a lot of space and room, and they don't even know that he's taken off with it. What a big-time pickup on that play. To the right side to Eric Ebron. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Hill now operating from the red zone. And Thomas has it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. And he is going to go down. They sack him on the final play of the first quarter. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints football to begin quarter number two. And they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Footwork gets him just inside the 10 to the 9, but no further. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is going to be knocked flat on his back. Oh, a big hit at the six-yard line. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. All right, here we go. Green. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. Back down to that Philly. Here we go. They snap it on fourth to Hill. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Eric Ebron from six yards away. And the Saints are back within a score. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And oh, Okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Under pressure now and he's going to go down just inside the five-yard line. So now, Charles, two touchdowns, two tries at two-point conversions, and both fail. And you want to say, let's go ahead and run the kicker out there from now on, but the problem is you're chasing points yeah. at this stage. So now you've got to dial up more two-point conversions and hope you're successful from here on out. And here now the offense heading back out there. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. He's going to fire. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown. Taylor Gabriel, 75 yards. And his guys get the quick strike touchdown. 
Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment for the guys covering take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by them. And once he's by them, there's no catching them. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. down to two. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. It's caught inside the 25. A big time play there for New Orleans. 53 yards. Here we go now. On first and 10, Hill shreds the tackle. Ebron caught left side. And he'll be out of bounds all the way down at the six. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. A shotgun snap for Hill. That's complete right around the eight. A gain of nine there. Sets up second and goal. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Throwing again is Hill. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. No, 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 no. But once Jack the pressure Patrick, forced his Patrick. eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. They'll try to run it in. It's Kamara. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Saints have cut it back within a score. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. Out of the gun, Hill. And he is going to go down back at the 11-yard line. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though. Defensively, they were ready. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Again to Henry. And he'll be tackled right on the midfield logo. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Hot, hot, hot. Set, hot, Again, a 
it's Henry. And he's got room. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Green, 39! Green, 39! So two minutes to go in a wild first half. We'll be back with more in the NFC title bout after this. Let's see what the offense comes with here. Second and eight. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. Dancing to his left. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. I think we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football. Incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. So it's a seven-play drive, but it stalls out in the end. Let's credit the defensive front seven. They were a little leaky at the start of the drive, but they stiffened toward the end. This is fielded at the goal line. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. No, 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 no. Check. Right, Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Watching that Marty, Marty. On first down, Hill. And he's going to be wrapped up and driven down. Khalil Mack coming in from that outside linebacker spot to bury him for a loss of seven. Here we go now. To throw on second down is Hill. Throw left side complete. It's Boyd. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Third down now following the completed pass. for the deep ball. And that's caught at the 25. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. 52 yards. Hill on first down. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll go out of bounds down inside the 15-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. Throw left side, caught by the tight end in Joku. 
Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Second down, here's Hill. Thomas has got it, complete. Oh, he will not go down. Have to retape those ankles. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. First and goal, they'll look to smash it in. Maybe a quarterback sneak here. Hurry up, here we go. Three, 19. Detroit, Detroit. Leopard, Leopard. No, 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 check. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. They'll run it with Kamara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Saints move back within a couple of the lead. So they're going to go for two. Hey, hey, tight end right. Watch tight end. Hurry up. Here we go. 319. 319. No, 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 no. Check. Patriots. Patriots. Detroit. Detroit. Back down to that belly. Over and over. Over. Detroit. Detroit. Now a toss going left. And he will get into the end zone again. And he seems to have a nose for it as he gets both the touchdown and the two-point conversion. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half. You know, I think that's the way they'll go. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And he will be brought down as time has now run out on this first half of action. Yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? Let's get back to it. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensive. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Hey, Sean Robinson. Getting in there from his defensive tackle spot to snow him under for a loss of four. And a long way to go for the offense here on second down. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Now, Barney, Barney. Operating from the gun. Hill. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all, tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. And they're going to go soft on the corners. On second down, Camara. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. He makes a wonderful play there off the corner. That reminds me of the great defenses of old, doesn't it? The Pittsburgh Steelers, Steel Curtain. They would not let you get on the field if you could only do one thing. You had to be a complete guy, and you had to be able to tackle. Now, I know I've said this before, but you know I wasn't alive when the Steel Curtain was playing. <laughs> I, I know them, but I, I just want to let you know I wasn't alive. I'm going to keep peppering that in there, and one of these days, you're going to think that you were. <laughs> and he gets this one all the way down inside the 20-yard line. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught him off guard. Yeah, I'm telling you, when you have the courage to make that type of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. He was trying to get it to his running back, Alvin Kamara. And it's third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. It's complete. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. And no field goal try here from the red zone offense out there. They'll go for it on four. to picking up the first. They stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Alvin Kamara unable to push past that yellow line. And as a result, possession switches hands. Here we go, sir. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. Hurry up, Barney. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. A really nice gain of 25 yards. It's got to the point where we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers too. Yeah, yeah tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. Derrick Henry. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Not much happening there on first down. I thought there might have been a hole for a split second. Yeah, but it dried up pretty quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Now it's second and seven. Here's Trubisky to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. Yeah, blink of an eye. That happened fast and a big sack. A 
Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Trubisky will throw. Finding Gabriel complete. 20, 10, touchdown. Taylor Gabriel, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And his guys are going to take the lead. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give them really fun line. But the bottom line is the absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. And this is going to be caught. And how about that? Even after snapping it from back there, they still convert for the two points. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he is level. Knocked down hard. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. It's a loss of two, now third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB... They want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. Steps away to his left. And he connects with Ebron. That one goes for 24 yards. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. He gets it to Thomas. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Welcome back, everybody, to Oklahoma City. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Now Hill looking to throw on first. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Second and 10, Hill, and down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Jonathan Allen in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. All right, now, look at the Detroit. Detroit. Here we go now. No, 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 check. Patriots. Patriots. No, 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 check. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Fighting to stay upright. And that is incomplete. Well, he bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation. Instead, tried to get all back in one play. Yeah, third and long. Thought he needed the deep pass. Couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be from 56 yards out.
And they're not going to get the snap off. This might back him out of field goal range. So that'll back him up five. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And as a result, possession switches hands. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. Fights through and now a crease. Derrick Henry all alone. And he'll go out of bounds finally at the seven. It's a big run there by Henry. 49 yards. They keep it with Henry on first down. And a little bit of space there takes it inside the five to the three. it in with Henry and this one will wind up with him losing yardage back to the four yard line they'll lose a yard and it brings up third now obviously that's some good work there defensively being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down but if you're on the offensive side of the ball there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now to stop them get to the ball that means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Now Trubisky to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone. This guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on. Just carving him up. Four touchdown passes. Carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. <laughs> They'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Down onto the field comes New Orleans. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden, it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second-guess when you don't get it on a fourth-down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. This will be a two-yard loss on the play, and that'll make it second and 12. From the gun, Hill. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jonathan Allen in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Operating. 
waiting from the gun. Hill. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, there is still time to recover from this. It remains a two-score game, even with the two points there. But let's just say things not trending in the right direction. I like that phrase. I'm going to say it along with you. Things are definitely not trending in the right direction. They needed something on that drive. Instead, they gave up two points and a lot of hope. Now this offense about ready to take over again. Start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. That gives him 98 yards in this game, and he's got to feel pretty good about that, but the entire offense does. The big thing, though, bro, they've got to get to 100, though. You think he knows he's at 98? I think someone has told him by now. And here's the thing. Getting to 100 or more is tangible evidence that you've had a nice day running the football. And that's what his offensive line wants for him and for themselves. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four. This time they face a third and two. They'll run with Henry. Derek Henry all alone. And he'll take it into the end zone for a touchdown. Derrick Henry, 56 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Well, they were just hoping that run would pick up the first. They got the whole enchilada. And I'm so used to teams on third down. Doesn't matter how far they need for a first down. Throw them the ball. Instead, they run it. And as you said, picked up the first down and then some and then some. <laughs> In fact, everything all the way for a touchdown. Terrific play. And he'll get to the 30-yard line before going out of bounds. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Dante Hightower in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. The Saints on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 11. To throw is Hill. They'll set up the screen now to Camara. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Time for a break. Back with more in the NFC Championship game after this. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Desperation time on fourth for Hill. Ebron's got it. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. They'll give him eight on the play, and on fourth down, they're able to convert and move the sticks. Here's Hill. He's going to let it fly. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. 
corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Now they go screen. It's complete. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the broken tackle. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. To throw on third down, Hill. And that is incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, but that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open, and this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. So here we go on fourth, Hill. And he comes back with one complete. It's a gain of 24 that time. And it'll be first down, Saints. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. and 10, Hill. Room here to run. Hill's hit, and he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. 24 yards. And the Saints get a bit closer. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here, but let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Looky here, Trubisky wants to throw it. Going deep downfield for Ross. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four <laughs> is excellent. You get five. That's a whale of a game. Second down now after the incompletion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. The offense on third down tonight. They're perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and nine. Now it's Trubisky. He's got the first down here inside the 30. Pass the 20. And 
He almost made it, but just short. Finally out of bounds, right down around the goal line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They come out here in the eye. They're going to run this with a tight end. Power on power, but he's not going to get in. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Brandon, if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line, I think I'd just turn around and hand it to my tailback. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock hits all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Tucker now for the extra point. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. Tucker now to add the point after. To throw is Bethard. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Partner, that type of a lead, and they're going to fake it from the 15 to try and pick up a two-point play instead of kicking it through the post. Come on, man. Put that in mothballs. Come on. What? Come on. Don't do that. Put that in mothballs. Yeah, huh? preserve that for it. That's, a, uh, that's an ancient just... relic, faking it. You, you, I can understand you, you want to rub it in a little. You fake it when you snapped it from the three. But from the 15... Mothball that bad boy, just like my grandmother had. Yeah, in my, her attic, the my stuff grandmother she used to did the same. It smelled yeah, terrible. Same <laughs> and this will likely be the last play and wrap things up. Single receiver, single receiver. Hey, you're on an island over there. Single. One last throw here for Hill. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is dropped and incomplete. Well, there's a metaphor for how this one is gone as time has run out on this ball game. And for all these guys, whether you're a rookie, a 10-year veteran, there's no feeling like this NFC champs. And you feel like family. Never at any time do you feel more like family than when you're sharing the joy of being the NFC champs and now everyone gets to say they're going to the Super Bowl. For us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew, I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say good night, everybody.